Every year I get questions about identifying poison ivy. And poison ivy, the usual saying is leaves of three, leave it be. It's uh, got three leaves per little branchlet and the one on the middle is always on a longer stem than the ones on the sides. And the, uh, the mid vein usually does not cross down the middle of either the two side veins. It's just off to the side. It's not right smack dab in the middle. But regardless, if you're not sure, leaves of three, leave it be. Um, on the other hand, there's much look like, like this one right next to it. Here is Virginia creeper. Leaves of five, let it thrive. And uh, we may not like uh, poison ivy because the orishial oils uh, most people are allergic to once it penetrates the skin. And again, it's found in all parts of the plant, be it the branches or if it's dried, if it's even smoked, which is why burning it can be quite a problem if you inhale it, if you can imagine the oil getting into your, inside your body. Um, but um, again, it protects itself with these oils, although lots of things can still feed on it, including birds. And that's why we see it everywhere. The, uh, the, the birds love to feed on the white berries. The white berries then are spread by the bird. The bird eats it. That means the whole purpose of berries get eaten. It, uh, it flies on off, poops it out with new fertilizer. Usually in disturbed areas where it can get a good foothold. So, um, you know, again, leaves of three, leave of bee, even those people who are not allergic to poison ivy um, oftentimes develop it if they continue to expose themselves to it. So just something to think about. The plant grows on the ground usually until it finds something to creep up on. In this case, see if I can, uh, I think you might be able to see this one. Once it starts to climb up the tree, then it'll develop, uh, it'll continue to, to develop in, uh, a, a hairy stem. Hard to see, you might be able to pick up a little bit of it here, but uh, it can be pretty thick. But only dopes swing on hairy ropes, and eventually you'll profuse flowers. Those are flower buds right there. You can see the little tiny things hanging underneath. So we may not like poison ivy, but it is a native plant that has all sorts of important aspects to it that have to do with uh, feeding the bird. And again, they can feed on it, though it's poisonous to us. So uh, leaves a three, leave a bee, but still, um, it's something you wanna you wanna understand is native, but also is pronounced in disturbed areas. So alongside the trails and places like that, in deep woods where it hasn't been disturbed, it's not much of a much of an issue. It can get very big, as I mentioned, a big hairy vine going up a tree. There used to be a saying, "Only dope swing on hairy ropes." There's a little bit of a poison ivy for you. Please be careful and uh, try to avoid contact with it, as as I mentioned, the oils, which. Uh, which, which can affect most people, and most people develop eventually an, uh, an allergy to it, uh, can give you quite the itch and the rash. Poison ivy.